اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم سبحان رب کا رب العزت اما یاسفون و سلام علی المرسلین الحمدللہ رب العالمین ان اللہ ملائکات و یسلون علی النبی یا جو اللہ زین آمنو صلو اللہ وسلمو تسلیما رب یسر ولا توسر و تمم بالخیر رب شرع علی صدری و یسر لی عمری و اہل رکتت من لسانی یافقہ و قولی صدق اللہ علیہ وسلم Dear all, Assalamu alaikum. Hope all of my students and their families are in good shape. And well, <clears throat> we were in the process of conducting viva in the last few days where I observed number of students, I mean, they <clears throat> work and they express uh, well about uh, pharmacology. <clears throat> the question which were asked there. So, even it was observed that those students who had even two or three supplies or direct supplies, they also responded well. So, never be, I mean, <clears throat> never get dis disappointed because of the previous uh, uh, results. Uh, everybody should work hard and inshallah just leave your results to Allah because of the, uh, this uh, <coughs> environment viral infection spreading over in the world so hope all my students will work continuously without <coughs> getting disappointed so now we are touching this about the antibiotics, antimicrobials, the <clears throat> you have been given introduction by the very senior professor, <clears throat> Dean Saab. So <clears throat> these antimicrobials, <clears throat> they have good history, say in the start of the <clears throat> this 20th century. Yeah. So <clears throat> number of uh, um, substances they are used as <clears throat> antibacterial like the <clears throat> sulfonamides and then this uh, what we will study over here <clears throat> penicillins so they were tried uh, and they were well investigated and people got a <clears throat> Nobel Prize those who were working on these antibiotics or something. there is a jungle of antimicrobials. So what should be given? No, the scientists and the doctors, they are working on it, that a specific site be, I mean, affected or be targeted for <clears throat> better results. So anyhow, what I remember about the, say, 70 years, uh, 60 years, I like that back. So whenever a person with any infection of say chest or there is some bile like that, he used to visit the hospital. So he was given <coughs> antibiotics like initially penicillins. Not done this penicillins. In 1928, uh, <coughs> this Fleming was one scientist who got um, a Nobel Prize and then other scientists, you will be shown the, these uh, slides and coming. So when you, <clears throat> while visiting a hospital for any kind of infection, they used to give penicillin and, and also penicillin was added to the, into another antibiotic you will study <clears throat> known as aminoglycoside. Just please note down, have a pencil, a copy with you, aminoglycosides, like well-known drug <clears throat> is the streptomycin still in practice. So combination was given <clears throat> to avoid uh, resistance or for better penetration of the drug. <clears throat> and that antibiotic was known as 
combiotic combination combiotic antibiotic so injections were given say after 6 hours according to the severity or after that so penicillin this was widespread used in tons also i remember in some literature this penicillin was prepared you know it's a fermentation product and obtained from one fungus <clears throat> well known fungus with known as penicillium penicillium further it types are, are there i show you like notatum penicillium notatum poison so <clears throat> in our this but i had gone through one literature that there was one colony known as a penicillin colony was probably in dera smile khan like there and somewhere or there in miawali so penicillin colony is of historic importance so this was initially penicillin that tried <coughs> i mean on those uh, uh, i mean the troops those who used, <coughs> those who were in injured and they were given injection to get them treated and you will go through the slides and in step wise so they in us i'm talking about 60 years back <coughs> so penicillin was given then scientists also why i mean as the drug was it is given parenterally parenterally no don't penicillin g so how to <coughs> prolong the effect of the drug they added other drugs with it like no don't please pro can penicillin procan penicillin so that has worked say for 12 hours or 20 hours absorption is delayed why is it written over here then another penicillin combination was there known as <coughs> benzathen penicillin benzathen no don't please benzathen penicillin this penicillin is long acting so <clears throat> can be given say after 15 days even more than it for chronic infection very i mean <clears throat> useful in case of streptococcus beta hemolyticus streptococcus beta hemolyticus so these penicillin i mean number of penicillin as in the initial penicillin they were given by injection then <clears throat> why by injection they were not acid stable so the well known penicillin uh, from mystery point of view that was penicillin g penicillin g please note on penicillin g so that penicillin g i mean you know if it is given by <coughs> or it is given orally so in, the, in this way, i mean not acid stable it's a highly polar drug penicillin g so the other penicillin was prepared so that was penicillin v <coughs> penicillin v these g v are fermentation products please note it down these are fermentation products also other fermentation then after that penicillin g v procan penicillin benzathen penicillin so other penicillin they were i mean they had very i mean allergic reaction so when we talk about the penicillin and the allergic reaction you must remember whenever you are going to give penicillin so you must have a sensitivity test abbreviated by ast a drop given subcutaneously and the reaction is here. otherwise cases were reported with this penicillin allergic there may be an anaphylactic reaction this was told right in the initial lecture what should be the treatment of anaphylactic reaction uh, if it is due to this penicillin or say the ats anti tetanus serum even other drugs they may produce so to make it i mean <clears throat> useful by giving orally semi synthetic penicillin we will show you the classification like ampicillin amoxicillin etc uh, they were prepared they are classified by different ways let me show you 
about the slides and we'll discuss it uh, <coughs> side by side. So another thing I would like to tell you, with the penicillin, if you compare with the sulfur drugs, we will study later on, sulfonamides. So when they, those sulfonamides, they were introduced, you will also study the history of sulfonamide later on. So 90% of the pathogenic bacteria, uh, they were susceptible to the uh, sulfur drugs. Because of the misuse, not only of the sulfonamides, also of this penicillin and other antibiotics, so resistance that developed. We will discuss it in the slides here. Here's I mean, what you are supposed to know about the penicillin. Penicillin, what is the basic structure of penicillin? Please note it down. It is asked to give you more mass. Penicillin, basic structure. Note down. I'll show you later. So you should know what in that very structure, um, changes are brought how the structure is broken by the enzymes produced by bacteria. So we will show you here is a, what are the learning objectives. Where to use it? How long to use it? We are not to use penicillins. So this let it be in your mind. Chemical structure, uh, it is six amino penicillinic acid, no don't. Everyone should try it. Chemical structure, 6 amino penicillinic acid. 6 amino at position 6, there is a mine. And there are two rings, I'll show you in the next slide. Then also the antibacterial spectrum. Initially, when penicillin G, I mean, <coughs> these penicillin they were given, they mainly affected the gram positive bacteria. Gram positive bacteria, gram negative, uh, cocci, and like that. So you should remember them. Then a specific question asked in your viva. So this is the bacteria and what drug be given? Or what penicillins be given in this, say against the bacteria like gonococci, like the, say, streptococci, like the pseudomonas, please note it on. So another thing is the, I mean, you are known to penicillin A sensitivity. Penicillin A sensitivity. This penicillin A is also known as, not down, lactamase. <coughs> lactamase. So it breaks down the, there are two known rings in the penicillin structure. So it, this penicillin A is producing bacteria. They destroy the uh, lactam ring. If that lactam ring is, broken, then one product is known as penicilloic acid. No, no, don't please, penicilloic acid. This penicilloic acid, it lacks antimicrobial activity. Now how the next learning of it, how these drugs act? So you have studied, I mean, in this initial introductory lecture, and the different sites are there where the antibiotics are acting. These penicillin and another well-known group, cephalosporin and few others are there. They act on the outer side, cell wall. No, don't please, cell wall. This question is asked. Now, how the further mechanism, I'll show you how the cell wall thin synthesis is, I mean, uh, that is stopped. And another thing about the resistance, this resistance is also asked about various, about various uh, antibiotics, how the resistance was. One thing you have been told here, very right now, <coughs> penicillin is producing. Other also, uh, some bacteria they produce, amides, amides, penicillin is, amides, like. So they broke down the, break down the initial structure and uh, antimicrobial activity that is immune resistance is something very important uh, <clears throat> with, uh, you know I mean with uh, you might have heard about the MDR no don't but the MDR multiple drug resistance that's a big problem and lectures are being I mean seminars are there you also study these bacteria there in pathology 
let's go to the next slide. Your introduction in general. One of the early <coughs> has discovered and widely used antibiotic is a penicillin. You have been told that in, say, in 1928, Fleming got the Nobel Prize, and his research started rather earlier. So, note on number of antibiotics they are obtained from fungi. You should also remember the name of the fungi to get better moss. Penicillium mold. <coughs> Here is one uh, penicillium or fungi uh, in general our entire fungus. Penicillium chrysogenum, chrysogenum, penicillium chrysogenum. Here you see on left side Mr. Fleming is sitting there. He got a Nobel Prize. <coughs> he obtained this penicillin from penicillin. And that it was very expensive because it was natural, nature on semi-synthetic, synthetic, they were brought. On right side is the basic structure of <coughs> penicillin G. Penicillin G, because of tradition and also an important question, <coughs> why the drugs were given in international units, not on please, I you. In the start, <coughs> I mean, in general, the drugs which are Bioacid, not on this word, but a bios. Bioacid, bio, acid, a double acid. They were given in international. This penicillin G, in case of it, so if you convert it around 1600, note on please, 1600 international units, they are equal to one milligram. So semi synthetic, synthetic, they are <coughs> in milligram like that. So I remember <clears throat> injections were there of penicillin, say, a five million, I mean, uh, like that, uh, how many million? They were in million uh, units. Here, you, if you study, it's like a 1.2 million units of penicillin, like that. So five, so five lakh, 10 lakh units. So they were constituted with distal water. Uh, if I mean this uh, penicillin powder is kept at four degrees centigrade, the powder life is safe for years. And if you constitute it, I mean before giving injection, so please remember at 20 degrees centigrade, so the effectiveness will remain there for say 24 hours. So fresh be given. In the structure right side, you see four member ring that is known as beta lactam ring. Number of penicillins are like this kind of drug, they are lactam antibody, beta lactam. On right side here, you see thiazolidine ring. Thia, what is thia? No, don't please. It is sulfur over it, isolidine. And at position six is a minor group, and this side chain is there. Let's go to the next slide, please. History. A brief history is there. In 1928, this was discovered by Alexander Fleming. So he got in 1945. Here you say the second world war. The first world war was what I remember. 1914 to 1918, and remember, I mean, this is a general question for you. Second bar is from 39 to 45. Here you see, at the end of the Second World War, he obtained, uh, got this Nobel Prize of Medicine, Fleming, in it. In 1940, Harvard, Harvard, you might have heard about Harvard, <coughs> the new, that is Harvard, Harvard Florey and his team, they work on it, and they had shown bactericidal action, note down this one. The bactericidal drugs, <clears throat> these are the general principles, and <clears throat> they are preferred over the bacterial <clears throat> static drugs. So this, this person and his team, <clears throat> he showed the bactericidal, 
these penicillins in general they are effective in the <coughs> rapidly multiplying bacteria not on please rapidly and they are bactericidal in 1942 i mean a beautiful picture is given by dr pracha <coughs> patients were treated with penicillin here you they see the soldiers they got injured you know i mean if you go through the afghan history or other of this content the britishers and all troops they came here they tried to overcome and these afghans they fought well first i mean is a very old history against the britishers then they fought against i mean say for 20 years or like the more than 10 years or like that they fought against the russians and then <clears throat> around 2001 and um, by now i would say 20 years uh, all the world <clears throat> main powers they gather together to overcome and this uh, afghanistan millions of people they were killed i mean uh, <clears throat> mainly the muslims and millions so any all it is uh, allah is there and allah help and you see the way the the <clears throat> war troops they left the site in 1945 year it is dorothy hodgkin hodgkin is a known disease hodgkin disease determined the chemical structure i mean who person who determined the chemical also got nobel prize come here this is a brief history about the for your general knowledge and interest chemistry you have been <coughs> told about it the basic structure is 6 minus penicillin it is in case of similar another group <coughs> when though expensive that has similarity with it a name of that is cephalosporins <coughs> you will study it in the next week structure of cephalosporin <coughs> that is 7 minus cephalosporin cases same so, many minus also here written that uh, one ring I and mean, is uh, five member ring on right side it is the thiazolidine and then carry the secondary minus the four member uh, ring is there that is beta lactam you have been told about structure integrity i mean for the antimicrobial effect the structure integrity of uh, this 6 uh, minor penicillin case it it is very important if there is any damage to this four membering five membering or the side chain the cell, the biological activity is, and that finishes next page so it is in large all of you have to dry it please i mean met be there in your viva or other and <coughs> your theory exam chemistry i mean beta lactam on left side yes yeah, so it is hydrolyzed say certain bacteria they produce enzyme penicillin is a beta lactam is <coughs> number of beta lactam is that are produced penicillin like acid is for and the activity here you see uh, although not possible to draw the structure any or you should know penicillin if the basic the beta lactam ring is broken so penicillin can acid and the biologic activity uh, that will be in a bit it is again the same structure hydrolysis is shown over fermentation here is a natural when you were told i mean there are different fermentation product penicillin g is the fermentation when it is given say to stabilize it potassium is added say sodium added in case of penicillin we another penicillin as they are in, in written down side and nepsilin their sodium is added to the basic structure so why the potassium or the sodium like is added to it to stabilize it penicillin g you have been told about it later on we will discuss it penicillin v for upper respiratory tract infection minor infection then here it is it is synthetic i mean further i mean 
these drugs are added to uh, your order. We have a uh, procaine, say, also local anesthetic, you will study it, procaine. Benzathin penicillin, when they are added, written in your big catsum, the main catsum, the basic, you must go through the literature while is something very important, very beautiful, me, I mean, given in the main cat. And make your own notes, please. Your handwritten notes will be easily uh, revised and you will be able to write them. Go through all the lines, please. It's, it's not that complicated about the penicillin, I can't tell. Procaine and benzathin, to make it, uh, I mean, long acting. Then, the same is in the ampicillin, is a distant or synthetic, sometimes ampicillin, amoxicillin, methicillin, special group is there, I mean, certain bacteria, when they are resistant to other penicillin, then they were given methicillin. You will study also methicillin, another drug from other group, vancomycillin, I mean, some methicillin resistance, uh, MRSA, like that, cephalococcus, yes, sir. Nephcillin, ticocillin. I mean, this is one kind of uh, classification. Whenever you are asked classification in your exam, the examiner should, I mean, should show you what, what type of classification he requires. He must give in the paper. General question shouldn't be there, like, I mean, classify you. What type of classification is it? Is it clinical classification? Is it anti -mark? It Does it depend upon the, say, root of uh, application like that. An examiner must go through that. Next. Here is a, and the penicillin is the basic structure on which it is. Other drugs are from the basis you will study, like the like tetracyclines, like the tetracycline, aminoglycosides, macrolides you will study a later on. According to the chemical structure, aminopenicillins, ampicillin, you know it is given a broad spectrum antibiotic. So orally given, also given injection. And then amoxicillin was later on, and this was introduced. So better, written better absorption orally. Then another group is their eye socks, azolil penicillin. Eye socks, azolil penicillin. Why well, they are given, one is given, say, orally, others apparently. So they are resistant uh, say, to the oxacillin. No, don't play oxacillin, and You have to write it again and again to remember it because you have not uh, applied these medicines in your life and period. Then another, another group is carboxy, carboxy penicillins. Carbenicillin is well known. This is also in your mind. The, say the drugs, well, this one is the and bacteria and what should be the drug given up. Carbenicillin and ticocillin. Then urido penicillins, urido. Lomazlocillin, azlocillin, piprocillin. No, you have to write it again, again to remember. Next. Here is one common question, why a question? Just name the, I mean, if there is resistance is there, and stay in case of staclococcus, or you say, or you, I mean, it is producing that, uh, <clears throat> that I mean, penicillin is or ectomase, so what should be given? anti staphylococcus so that please note it on methicillin, and these uh, oxacillin, the phora, the nephcillin. Another very important kind of in case of pseudomonal infection. I see students don't respond to it. When I ask, they were asked in their annual exam. What are the medicines for pseudomonas? Not only these are penicillin, even other antibiotics they are also, you have to mention, you will study onward. Mesloslin, azloslin, and ticoslin. Among the penicillins for pseudomonas, these are drugs are given. Mesloslin, other drugs are also from, say, from cephalosporin. So mesloslin, mesloslin, ticoslin. Broad spectrum, I mean, our extended spectrum, these are ampicillin, amoxy, <coughs> becampicillin, becampicillin. This is something very important, please note it, don't. And never, I mean, if you're asked about it, you must answer.
then this one is the classification again those who are sensitive to penicillin um, penicillin is that will break down their structure so given on left side the, like the G, V, ampicillin, muxicillin this penicillin G was also known as crystalline penicillin crystalline penicillin not done please crystalline penicillin penicillin G was also known crystalline penicillin a natural penicillin penicillin V, ampicillin they are sensitive i mean their structure is broken by penicillin as are this beta lactamase and those which are resistant to penicillin as these are methicillin cloxacin oxacillin this is a group please i mean isoxazolin and nephilin kinetic this is something very important i mean is the drug to be given orally or by injection or intramuscular. I mean, if there someone is not uh, allergic to penicillin, penicillin allergy is very important question, penicillin allergy. So these are penicillins, these are polar compounds. Polar compounds absorption, I mean, extra cellular concentration will be less than the extra cellular. So <clears throat> as I have read, I mean, this even, uh, if, in spite of having a polar structure, polar it's a polar compound. Even then, I mean, it goes into different organs, widespread, except a few sites where it cannot pass through. So, but the overall spread is, I mean, widely spread in body. Most of the penicillin is inactivated by gastric. This you, you have been told, I mean, is the acid stable or not acid? So they are in emergency, you need it to be given if this intramuscular or even intravenous. If someone is not allergic to penicillin G, so the best drug you can give in with big doses through IV for emergency. Penicillin V, ampicillin, moxicillin, carbenicillin, dioclosin are acid stable. So you have, can give them orally. Absorption of oral penicillin, except amoxicillin, is impaired by food. So, mind it, whenever you are giving penicillin or light drug, so you, I mean, give it, so if it is to be given orally, one or two hours before food, or say one or two hours, one hour after the meal. Then nephilin is highly plasma protein bound. Nephilin is highly plasma protein bound. This penicillin, it was at 10% uh, I mean, goes into glomerular filtration and 90% is secreted there in kidney. You may study it here somewhere. No, don't leave. Most penicillins are formulated as the sodium and potassium salts of the acid. They cross blood brain barrier. Especially if the meninges are inflamed, so they can easily pass through. Otherwise, I mean, main concentration. Here, written, they cross the meninges. No, don't. If they are inflamed, so the, they can easily pass through that. Here, on stable to acid, permitting oral administration, which you have asked already. On right side, intravenous, intramuscular. Mostly unchecked during a pair in urine. You have been told, I mean, 10% go to GFR, 90% <coughs> renal tubular secretions. Continued of penicillin. Excreted unchanged in urine. I mean, these injections used to be given for gonococcal infection, uh, <coughs> lower uh, this uh, urinary tract infection. Unchained in urine via glomerular filtration and tubular secretion. You have been told, I mean, 10% through filtration, 90%. Nephilin is excreted in bile. You see here, no, don't please. Bile, those I mean, drugs which go into bile, they may go into enteropathic circulation so that, <coughs> that the life uh, can be, I mean, extended. Oxacillin, cloxacillin, diclozin, 
they are excreted from kidney and biliary excretion. So when a drug is also excreted by bile, so the renal function in routine you must check. I mean, if the drug is uh, passing out through kidneys, your creatine test must be there. No down, please. So renal and I mean, if the drug is going also created by bile, so your kidney function is not uh, up, updated, so you can give. Half-life is 30 to 60 minutes of this penicillin. Benzathine and broken penicillin, their half-life is longer, you have been told, I mean, there is a slow absorption, delayed absorption, because active drug is released very slowly into bloodstream. Provide repository forms for intramuscular injection. You have, we have discussed it earlier. Well, the how the <clears throat> penicillin acts something very, very important, nicely given, better you have to study from the main cat song, uh, uh, so you will have better, I mean, to get better uh, <clears throat> mass. So they, there are, uh, in the bacteria, there are proteins, proteins, pl uh, bacterial in the cell wall, there are penicillin, binding protein, where they bond. I mean, they are bactericidal, also done. And main, I mean, the action is on the cell wall. Then kills bacteria cells only when they are actively growing, also mentioned, and synthesizing cell wall. It is the cell wall which, I mean, here you see the transpeptidation is one, I mean, what is the cell wall formation you go through in detail from the main question. What is their uh, polypeptides are there, I mean, uh, polysaccharides are there, uh, cross-linking. Uh, so here you see mechanism of action activate. These penicillin, they activate the autolysis. Exact mechanism is also written, it's not known, but anyhow you must go through. Autolysis, cell breakdown, I mean the wall breakdown, and then there is cell lysis. It is something very brief given, but you must go. There are also certain other sugar, glucosamine, uh, uremic acid, also DLL, nil DLN, I mean, those things are there. See, here is the structure. In the outer cell side, cell, outer membrane, there are pores, bacterial. In gram positive, they are and uh, not, I mean, uh, so resist, I mean, it's resistant, but in case of uh, gram negative bacteria, the, the outer side is uh, not very easy to penetrate. Possible. And below is peptidoglycan. Then site is periplasmic space. Beta lactamase is produced over here. Then there are uh, this PBP, it is penicillin binding proteins. Here you see the cytoplasmic membrane. So overall formation that is inhibited by these uh, penicillins and uh, <coughs> so the how the, it is broken down. We will go through. Resistance also very important. One is the production maize production. Another thing is that, I mean, those, uh, they modify. The penicillins produce, I mean, binding proteins, <clears throat> they modify and they, they don't um, attach to the uh, antibiotics. Penetration of drug into bacteria, another one. I mean, you have been told that, I mean, the gram-negative bacteria, cell wall uh, is tough, I mean, rigid, so do not better. Another way of resistance is efflux. The drug, I mean, they, that is uh, thrown out of the <coughs> bacterial body. Efflux. So please remember, this is just summary efflux, something very, not only of the penicillin, even of the other drug. I mean, how the resistance is coming. Multi-drug resistance is a big problem nowadays. Again, I mentioned. Then here you say, see that uh, same cell wall, 
then cell membrane so they are taught penicillin binding so the how the resistance is developing next one so we are stopping over here next i mean the antimicrobial spectrum in detail you will clinical application toxicity you will study later on inshallah so we stop over here hope all of you will study it again and again and you'll go through the main kind thank you very much